Hey folks, welcome to Yada Belly's Kitchen. This is yours truly, Yada Belly. And today we're doing a little Jamaican uh, appetizer favorite. Yes, we are going to be making codfish salad. I don't know the real name of it. I don't know what we call it in Jamaica. But I have to come up with a name. So may I call it codfish salad, right? There's, I, I, I've not been... I wasn't told the proper name. We say saltfish salad or, or, or um, raw saltfish salad. Yeah, something like that. But it is something that we do in Jamaica. And, and I missed this flavor until recently. I, I went somewhere and get some. And it was so amazing. I have to try it. All right. Let's see our list of ingredients. Pretty much the, the ingredients is going to be... The, the procedure is straightforward. I have cucumbers... Or that better yet, this is a seedless cucumber that I have. I have three cloves of garlic. I have a poblano pepper, I think this is. But it says sweet pepper upon the something. But another, the regular bell pepper. It's like a Spanish pepper. Because one of the things that I do is to mix whatever ingredients I find locally into my Jamaican dishes and standard, you know, my Jamaican standard dishes, right? So, yeah, this is a pepper I'm fine. It says sweet pepper. I think it is poblano. All right, this right here, so, is Vidalia onion. It's half of a Vidalia onion. And, and the only reason why I'm using Vidalia onion is because I find it. You can use regular onion, especially if you like onion. You can use enough. This is um, four plummy tomatoes. I have over here, so, some parsley. I have over here some cilantro. I have some honey, organic honey. I have ground black pepper. This is seasoning salt. Seasoning salt that don't have any MSG. Yeah? Real natural seasoning salt. I have some paprika. Use a little bit of that. And I have some cayenne pepper. Yeah? From Trader Joe's. Alright? So pretty much what I'm going to do is the procedure is simply cut up everything and then mix it together with some olive oil. Good quality olive oil. So let me go ahead and cut up everything. And then we mix up. Oh, by the way, this is the codfish I have here. And it's soaking in some hot water. Me not really want it cooked, but me want it easy to manage. So I just put some regular hot water and see. It, and this was the this was the um the boneless one. So I go shred up everything, cut up everything, fix up everything, and we come back. You see? Remember, me tell you. You are the belly in a farin. Everything assembled now. Are cut up and everything so we're just basically gonna assemble everything put everything together in this bowl we have the garlic the garlic have it one mm -mm. yeah yeah it's one because i want kind of international dish oh it's a international dish so here's this battle <laughs> <laughs> the garlic all right no i'm just gonna all right so we shred the the um saltfish no Bacala. All right, the saltfish are the boneless one, and it come out a little bit more soft than women did like still, but may I add it to it, you know? Yeah, me prefer the original saltfish, like where we have a Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, it, even, when you, even when you soak it a little bit, it come out soft, and it come out a little bit more rough, rough, rigid, whatever. Yeah, let me just start mix up from now. The idea is to mix everything and make it marinate, okay? So, let's start with the garlic and the thing and the thing. All right, uh, pretty much everything I'll just add. The peppers. Hold on, come now. Where's my pepper? Hey, hallelujah. And do the hand disclaimer. Oh, my hand clean. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I washed it my hand. Uh, this is the, the onions. And as I said, Vadelia onion. You can use regular yellow onion, but the yellow onion a little bit strong. Okay, okay, right, car. Uh huh. We have the tomatoes, all these tomatoes right here. Mm -hmm. It's on Twangish, right here. Mm -hmm. so the tomatoes, mm -hmm. tomatoes, and, no, tomatoes. <laughs> Stop the Jamaican thing. It's tomatoes, yeah. It's tomato, yeah. And then the, the, the cucumber, I mean, cucumbers, cucumbers, okay. Hey. And then I've I mix the cilantro and the parsley, you know, right there. So, mm -hmm. and then. What about dill? You don't think dill would work? Dill, salt, but dill, salt are strong, you know, so you can't. Remember, I said this raw, you know, so you have to be careful with the flavorings, you know? And when you're doing raw stuff, you have to make sure the flavors are compatible, you know? All right, I'm going to mix it up, yeah? Let me see if I can mix it up. 
Mix, 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 mix. Send me a few mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Give me a few mix. Mix up the vegetable. Got the vegetable nice. Na, 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 na. Yeah, see? It look good. It look good already. It looks so very intelligent. You understand? And and the thing about this, you have to make these flavors come together and marry and permutate. Yeah, permutate can my you new foreign word that. I'm gonna add me always add my little thing them. So I add a little paprika. Just a little. Yeah? Don't only because it's there. And I'm gonna add some cayenne. Now normally I would put scotch bunny pepper. Maybe after the video I'm gonna put scotch bunny pepper, but the wife is not too like it, so. Mm -mm. She don't want too much pepper, so I'm going to use cayenne. Cayenne give you the kick without the strongness of the pepper. Then I'm going to use some black pepper because the black pepper is very important. And normally I'm going to use the black pepper grinder or something. But yeah, I don't have no more pepper corn right now. Pepper corn is supposed to be there still, but I can't look for you. See, mix it up a liquor. Now, in this dish, you don't necessarily need any salt because you use saltfish as your main, you know? ingredients one of the main ingredients you know but me always check for saltness and you can add your own little embellishments you see mm -hmm. yeah but i have this um this um flavored salts that i'm gonna add just a little bit to for the vibes you know and then the ps star is the stones are the last thing no, I don't put the honey yet. I put look honey. Because I always like to make my flavor in a little bit sweetish, a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Umami, them call it. Umami. In a cooking. So you add a little honey. And the honey is very involvement, you know? Very supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. See? And this now, you can have this with some crackers. Or some tostones or some um, tortilla. Yeah, tortilla, I mean, not a stone. You know those little mini tortilla shells? Yeah. That would be awesome. Yes, because like over there, foreign, normally in a Jamaica, this we have this with, may I tell you where we have this with? We have this with some water crackers. Uh huh. What? Remember? White rice. <laughs> really? No, no Joke. white rice. <laughs> no white rice. Yeah. She wicked love her belly. All right, so may I use some good quality olive oil? May I tell you real quick. Normally, Jamaicans don't use the olive oil. We use whatever oil we have. You know, but since we're there foreign, we have to foreignize it. And remember, don't skimp on the oil. Put oil in something. All right? Because that's the whole idea. This is what's going to bind it and make it all, you know, vibesy. And I'm going to do one last thing is add a little bit, just a little bit of cane vinegar. Yeah? So give me a little tongue back again, you know? What about le lemon? Oh, we could I use lemon still? Could I use lemon if you want lemon? But, yeah. Use lemon. May I squeeze one lime in there? <laughs> i make it taste good. My own, it look good, though. Yeah. May I have my virgin in the room and I'm going like him cute. You want to see him? like money queen over there. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <how> we... <laughs> money queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is make this permutate a little bit. You want to add, add the, on, the lime on, on camera? You don't know, man. Yeah, we'll make that permutate. May I squeeze the lime? You know? Half, half of a lime, half of a lime, just squeeze over it, and then that's it. Yeah, when we cut, when we, the next thing we go do, I just plate it. Just eat. All right, folks, see so the finished result here, the finished dish. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in pan it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top. Yeah, I make the thing look very, very eloquent. Yeah, I'm serve it with some water crackers, Excelsior water crackers. You can use your favorite crackers. And try this in your neck of the wood, because you had the belly in a foreign, you know. So the thing set. Big up to all my subscribers. Like the page, subscribe, tell on a friend and a family about it, and a relative, and a auntie.